We're going to Malaysia, brother. Oh, right. that's, that's really good. Holy smokes, look at it go! <laughs> Whoa! Quickly, we're going to spool! <laughs> Rump and sail, baby. Check that puppy out. G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that plucks ordinary fishos out of their ordinary lives and takes them on incredible fishing adventures. And this week is no exception. I'm in Kelmscott in Perth, Western Australia. We're about to surprise one of our Fishing Addiction members. His name is Jason. We're taking him to Malaysia, thanks to Ocean Blue, chasing sailfish. It should be a fantastic trip. Now he's an Ambo and that's his ambulance right there. And apparently, well, according to his wife, he's a bit of a prankster. So this time round, what we're going to do, he's on his way to work now. We're going to hide in the back of the Ambo. So when he rocks up and opens the door, we're literally going to scare the crap out of him. And she says, Haley, his wife says, that is payback for all the pranks that he pulls on her on a regular basis. So it should be a great surprise and an even better trip to Malaysia. Hey Chris, how are you mate? There you go Mark. Yeah, you're Jason's best mate, aren't you? Yeah, that's and right. And you ride the Ambo together? Yes. Alright, so how yeah. do you reckon he's going to react to this? Um, he is going to be over the moon. We've been driving around in the Ambo the last couple of days and he's he keeps showing me these Facebook posts that you've been putting up that you're coming to Perth, <laughs> you're going to be picking someone from Perth. He's like, could be me. And I'm like, nah mate, it might be you, why would it be you? <laughs> nah mate. And so that's it. And he's like, even to the point we're driving around the airport yesterday, he's like, look out for an Isuzu. Mark drives no Susie. Is that him? And I, like, nah, it's not him. <laughs> so he, he'll be so excited. It's unreal. So he can't see me in here like this, can he? No. the best. He just, see, he just pulled up in his uh, ute. All right, he's about to hop out of the castle. We'll get in. All right, let's go, guys. Stealth mode, everybody. Let's get in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jace. Oh, look at your drugs in the back, right now. Jason! Yeah. <laughs> Did that scare crap out yeah, of you or what? Fits, fits. I gotcha. Yeah. That one's from Hayley, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She told us. And him, from and him a bit well. of him as well. <laughs> How awesome. are you, pal? Oh, I'm good. Good now, yeah. <laughs> you obviously yeah. have a pretty good idea of why we're here. Uh, yeah, pretty good idea. Yeah, yeah and yeah. yeah. Your old mate over here has been. Come and go for him, man. What are you yeah. doing? Jump in here. He's been telling us that you've been following us a little bit on yeah. social media oh, and oh, watching yeah. our movements and what we're doing. Sure do. Pretty much religiously. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, it's been four years as a member. Yeah. Your right. name has come up. Awesome. And we're here to take you. My heart's still pounding after that. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to take you. As you know, we're going to Malaysia, oh, brother. Mate, that's, that's fantastic. We're going to chase cool. sailfish and maybe some black cobia. We may even get a chance to go chase some snakehead as well. Oh, that's we'll see. But the main fish that we're going to chase is sailfish. Ever yeah. caught one of them? No. This big, the biggest fish I've caught. Are you serious? 76 centimetres, that's it. Well, that's, that's a, about to change a big time. Oh, wow, that's amazing. That's fantastic. Now, Hayley's on her way and she is so nervous, the oh, poor she's, she's been horrible this morning. <laughs> what, she really? Yeah, poor kids. <laughs> Well, they're on so, their way, and we know you. Actually, interestingly enough, we'd actually chosen you to come on the show. And then after talking to Haley, she told us, because we didn't know this, the drama you've been through oh, for yeah. the last year. Yeah, so it's actually, well, it's yesterday, two days ago, it was the day when I went into ICU, or came out of ICU the whole year. Like, this is my first roster back. Um, it was September 11 last year. Mm -hmm. And got diagnosed with leukaemia, and it's a bit of a shock. Out of nowhere? So, yeah, just nowhere. Just got some bruises, and... Hayley was a bit worried about him, forced me to go to the doctors, and next thing I know, I'm in hospital. So, Good so 46 days later, I finally got out, and another six months of treatment, and I finally got went into full remission, so it's been good. Oh, mate, well, it's that's so good that we can uh, so. take you on this trip. And, you know, we love Ambos. We, we've, we've taken uh, 
quite a few coppers on the show. Yeah, I've seen. We've it. never taken an ambo. Oh, that's great. Um, you because to do it. your service is just incredible to the community. What you guys do for for us, for the community. So, for us to be able to do something for an ambo is just sensational. Oh, because I think you. you guys are the unsung heroes of all the uh, you know the forces. Yep. so to speak, and uh, what you do for people is amazing. Oh, so, Yeah, for me, fishing, um, it's 20 years of emergency services, or 20 plus, nearly 25 years of emergency services for me. Um, it's a way for me to just get away um, and just relax. There's, uh, there's nothing better than being <laughs> out on the ocean, in the boat, and just sort of bobbing around. I, to be honest, <laughs> like, I love catching fish, but just being on the boat, just with a line in the water, um, it's just so relaxing and um, just gives me the release that I need to be able to go back and start again. Darling, so how, how does it make you feel to see Jace get this opportunity? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. After everything he's been through, um, yeah, the last 12 months, it's just, mm. yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah, well, Hayley's probably like, she's probably copped it the worst. Yeah, I had the treatment and stuff and that was bad, but Hayley's had to sit there and watch it and. Um, I wish I'd take it with me, basically. So, yeah, um, it's like a whole family thing, even the kids. Um, it affects everybody, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Before I went into ICU, they, 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 the ward had never seen it before. Like the kids had drawn every day. They would go away and they'd draw pictures. They'd put them all up on the wall. Oh, you're good kids. For me, um, to see Jason go on this trip um, is just absolutely amazing. It's brilliant. Um, after the last 12 months, it was touch and go, and there was times where we didn't think he would pull through his leukaemia. Um, so to see him get an opportunity like this is just something he would have never dreamed of, of happening. Um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys, it's, it's amazing. Oh yeah, I came to work and um, threw my gear in the front of the truck and uh, went to check my drugs in the back and Mark's sitting in there, scheduling and crap out of me and uh, yeah so it's all from there it's like had no idea absolutely no idea and uh, a few little hints over the last couple of weeks that I sort of thought that something may have been happening but had nothing like this it's just fantastic it's really good uh, it is now time to whisk you away my friend so awesome. say goodbye to your family firstly right. see you bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, love Dad. Hold it together, Dad. Let's go. All right. See you later, guys. Yeah. All the best. Come on, mate. Let's go. We're going fishing, brother. Go fishing. <laughs> guys, on this trip to Malaysia, I just wanted to run through some of the gear that we'll be using to chase sailfish. And it's obviously very applicable to fishing for sails here in Australia as well. So this is a stick bait rod from Venom. The Venom rods, as you know, Aussie made. Let's support Aussie made. Uh, but this particular Venom rod is just perfect for either live baiting or casting stick baits. And I match that up with the new ATC Virtuous Reel. Now this is the 10,000 size. You can go a little smaller if you want to, but for the line capacity, I like the 10,000 size. Very, very strong. And they have a carbon drag, carbon fiber drag. So very, very smooth drag on these ATCs. Now in terms of lures and hooks, I'll start off with hooks. Uh, these mustard demon circle hooks are sensational on sailfish. They'll swallow the live bait all the way down and then as you slowly apply pressure they come up and they hook them in the corner of the mouth. It doesn't damage the fish and the hookup rate with these mustard demon circles is very very high. And lastly a couple of the lures that we'll be throwing around. This guy here is the Zaplin. That's a smaller of the Zaplins. Um, sometimes I'll change out the treble on the back and put an assist hook on there because the hookup rate with sailfish can be a little bit higher. Although sometimes when they're not eating stick baits, they're just not eating stick baits. But the Zaplin does very well. Nice and loud, great colours as well. And then the last one, which is a bit of a surprise, is the Kavala. Now I wouldn't have picked this for these sails, but the locals over there say they catch stacks and stacks of sails on these Kavalas. I think the reason being great action in the water the size of the lure probably matches the hatch of the bait fish that's in the water over there. And you can cast these things an absolute mile. They're quite weighty and nice big long cast when you can see those cruising sailfish. So that's just some of the gear that we'll be using from Zeric and from Wilson Australia on our trip with Ocean Blue to Malaysia.
Our flight was from Perth to Singapore. We arrived in the late hours of the evening and stayed the night in the city. The next morning we were picked up by the crew from Ocean Blue before crossing the border into Malaysia. We were heading for a town called Rompen on the west coast of the country, the home of the sailfish. It wasn't long before pulling up to our luxurious resort. So after all that travel, we're finally here. This is the Rompen River and the river mouth is just there. We're about to jump on Rob's boat from Ocean Blue and head off and try and catch some sailfish. I've been wanting to come here for a very, very long time. So I'm really excited. And I know Jason, our fishing addiction member, he's busting to get out there and catch his very first sailfish. Should be a fantastic day here in magnificent Rompen. Well, first stop this morning is the bait grounds, and it was literally a 10, 15 minute run. Back there is the mouth of the river where we started, and here apparently is loaded with yakas, what we call yakas, yellowtail, and slimy mackerel. And on these sailfish, the best way to start, before we start chucking lures and carrying on, is with some live bait. They respond exceptionally well to that. So, just sounding around now, throw some sabikis down, load up the bait tank, and hopefully we can find some sailfish not long after. Hey, look at that guy. Look at the size of it. Wow. Oh, free jumping sail. Oh, wow. Where's the stick bait? Quick. I'll catch him. Awesome. After seeing that free jumping sail around the boat, I couldn't help myself, so I rigged up a stick bait and got casting. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. My fishing experience has sort of really been localised around Rocky M, sort of Perth, a bit around Rotto and stuff. Um, I did get up into the Pilbara a bit, I worked out of Newman for a couple of years and got across, across to the coast. Uh, did a big fishing trip over to the Abrolhos and got blown out the whole time. So I didn't catch a fish, we pretty much caught a couple of like maybe 20 centimetre coral trouts, that's about it. Um, at the end of that trip though, I uh, had a mate up in uh, Wyndham, one of the paramedics up there, and he took me out fishing, um, got me onto a couple of barra. Um, the biggest one that I got was 76 centimetres, 
Um, that was probably, that's my best fish that I've caught so far, but um, I've always wanted to obviously do some more barra and uh, get into the blue water and do some bigger fish. Love to catch a GT, some sailfish, uh, anything like that really. Just anything bigger than sort of a metre would be great. Um, fantastic, anything that just fights really hard. That's what I'm really, really after. Just that rush, that's what I love. With birds working around the boat and sailfish free jumping all over the place, I think Jason could be getting his dream fish sooner than he thinks. Yeah. You're going to get spooled. You're going to chase it. Holy smokes, look at it go! Whoa, whoa, quickly, we're going to spool! Go, cock and wind, wind like a crazy man. Keep going, keep going. Man, what a run! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we're going to get spooled. Wind now, wind. Move back to the back corner. Welcome to Malaysia, mate. <laughs> well, it hasn't taken long at all. We found the boats, we found the sails, and this thing, whatever he's hooked here, is an absolute monster. It could be a big cobia. You think it could be a cobia? It could be a big cobia because it hasn't, it hasn't jumped. All the other fish around us have been jumping. Oh, well, it'd be a decent mackerel if it was a mackerel. That was an amazing run. Man, that's a big fella. It's coming up. It's coming up. Now, if it jumps, you just got to keep whining, all right? You've yep. got to keep the tension on it. It could be a big sail. Oh, man. Nah. Is it gone? No, it is a big sail. Wine, that's it. Keep whining, Jace. Good job. Ah! Yeah, gone. Yeah, it's like the line there. Gone, yeah. Just hold the line as it comes on so you make it nice and tight. Holy smokes. Wow. That was a... Big sailfish compared to all the little ones that have been caught around here. That was a uh, a nice fish, mate. Bad luck. Yeah. Often what'll happen? They're quite raspy on their on their beaks, and if the line gets wrapped around, you can just rub through. We're using about 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. Any heavier, and sometimes they're a little bit hesitant to take the livey. <sighs> He's bugging already. We only just started. Bad luck. Plenty more fish in the sea, as they say. Let's go again. Yeah. Oh, mate, that was full on. That first run was just unbelievable. Hey, I, I Nothing thought for you could sure do. you were going to get small, man. Yeah, I was watching just get small. And of course, small. they actually hooked you up on the smallest rod that I brought yeah. with me. <sighs> Felt small. <laughs> He's just next to us. He's going around the front. He's coming through. He's just next to the boat. Yep. A little pump now. So make sure you're winding well before you drop him. There he goes. <laughs> Jason's on the one. <laughs> oh, there he is. Don't square. <laughs> you can see him just in the water yeah. just next to us. Nice fish. Every time. Oh, there he goes. No, I got it. You got it? Alright. If you pump too hard, this line just comes off that uh, yeah. spool. There he is. You're getting pretty tired now, mate, so I reckon you're up for a good shot here now. 
It's starting to go to loose a little bit. Hey, wind, wind, wind. Put your way. I'll keep spinning the boat for you, so we're going to land it in the back. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Now hold the rod, go free spool. Just ready. Hold the line though, just wait. Take a big step back now. Balance the boat. Good job. Hang on to that rod. Just in case he goes again. <laughs> well done, mate. Oh, Bergy, thanks so much, man. That's all right, my friend. What a fish. I don't care what size it is, it's just done. That's a good fish. So good. <laughs> Rompin' sail, baby. Check that puppy out. <laughs> What it's a cool fantastic. Fish. How's that feel, mate? Oh, mate, you have no idea. <laughs> From 12 months ago, it's just the shit I went through, and to now, I don't know what I here, to be honest. <laughs> You're here and you're catching sailfish and oh, robbing, mate. brother. Oh, thank you, Haley. Thanks, everyone. It's all right, mate. Oh. It's no worry. What a fish! <laughs> what That's a fantastic. fish! That is so good. Woo! You of course know there's a very important part of this show. Come over a bit closer. I'm not going to bite you too hard. <laughs> and that is the Fishing Addiction Challenge, of course. Yep. We have $5,000 worth of gear from Wilson, our major sponsor. That includes Venom Rods, ATC Reels, Zeric Lures, and so much That's more. That's amazing, yeah. Then we've got two grand's worth of gear from the online store at Attic Tackle. Thank you, mate. So seven grand up for grabs for you. But there's three species in this yep. challenge. The first one is a sailfish. Tick. Tick that box. Second one is a cobia. Now they get really big black cobia here. We want a black cobia over 20 kilos. Now we haven't seen one yet, yeah. but that's not to say they're not going to turn up. Yeah. And then the last day, we're going to chase snakehead. Yeah? Yeah. The twist is, if I get a snakehead, we're going to count it as part of the challenge as that's well. That's awesome. All right, yeah. we're trying to help you out a little bit there, that's mate. We want you to mate. win. <laughs> So there you go, three species, 33 fish. Huh? Yeah, it's nothing, mate. Third of the way there. Seven grams worth of gear. Thank you very much. That'd be good. If, you can, if yeah. I can get it. See how we go, so I reckon you might. Oh, be. I think I've already won anyway, but. Good luck, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Let's Thank catch you on the sailfish. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, so once you just feel uh, the bait panicking, yep. all right, just hold on to it. So when the sail takes it off, just let it go. Yep. All right, let line run, okay, for maybe about 10 seconds. Point your rod down. Yep. Right? So you flip your bail arm and you not strike. Lift yep. up your rod. Yep. All right. So if you can't flip your bail arm because of the speed, what you do is you lift up your rod. Yep. Then you flip your bail arm. Oh. Right. Yep. You got it. Yep. Good. Give the crack. Go get it. Don't stuff it up, Jason. <laughs> Never. Right. Never. Right. Good instruction there. <laughs> He goes round, around, 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 around. Oh, he's coming towards us. Come on. Come on. Yes. Keep coming. Yes, come to Papa. Come to me, my baby. Not yet. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Here he goes, he's going up. Ah. <laughs> That's it, just keep it tight. Good job. Oh, cool fish. Now the conditions, mate. Oh, he's a beautiful. Glass out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, just comes out of nowhere. That literally just hit the water and was gone. Yeah. It was probably. Here he goes again. Oh, yeah. oh, what a mad shot. That is so cool. <laughs> well done, Thanks mate. Again, mate. Oh, yeah, that is bigger than the last one. Look at that thing. This is a once in a lifetime. I don't think I'd ever be able to do this again. This is fantastic. 
Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, back in the water, guys. <sighs> Thanks, guys. All right, send him in. Yeah. Well done. Uh, now, the guys nice. are going to take care of him. Come to us. Over there. Just got to get this stick bait in front of his nose. Look at him feeding. He does not care less that we're here. All right, this is going to go straight over top of him. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's so tiny. He had a go. Is there more? Oh, that's exciting. He was a tiny little fella. He might have a mate. Very small, the one that actually ate it. It'd be very hard for it to get that bait in its mouth. After a successful day on the water, we decided to head back to the resort to rest up yeah. and sort out a plan for the next few days ahead. The first one that uh, got away, that was just unbelievable. Um, it just took off and just wasn't going to stop and the spool, I was just watching it get smaller and smaller and smaller, you know, and then eventually it just popped off. But then the second one um, fought like crazy and never felt anything like it. Like the barrow before and that was just, it just put it to shame. It was unbelievable. Unfortunately, we woke up to the sound of heavy rain, but we're only here for a few days, so there was no way we were waiting for it to pass. So it was business as usual. Jason was catching live bait, and I was chucking stick baits. good. It's another day and it's raining. But that's okay. It's only water. It's not going to kill us. We've come to a new spot. We're looking for birds. Unfortunately we're not seeing any at this stage but we've got some bait. We'll put out some live bait so we can stir up some action. Apparently this is a really good spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I think that was a sailfish. We saw its back coming out of the water. I'm pretty sure I just saw a sail. Hold back, come out. I'm gonna get my stick bait. <laughs> How cool is that, eh? Oh, he's coming right around the front. Come up the front. He's going under, quick, front. Let's get the line off the boat. Oh, no, he's still got him. <laughs> yeah, he's going bananas. Just keep your eyes open for that. Might get a double here if we're lucky. <laughs> Playing up. Oh. How you going, buddy? Good, mate. It's only day two. You got a massive bruise already, haven't you? Yeah. This bloke comes that... to me this morning and says, Bergie, I looked in the bathroom mirror. 
And I've got a bruise about that big right there. And that's that's a good thing, mate. That's a good bruise. Happy with that. Woohoo! These little sails go nuts. That's it. Keep going. Keep breathing. And I'm just holding this, this stick plate because sometimes when there's one like that, you'll get a few of them following him thinking, what's he feeding on? And I might be able to get that stick bait in behind and get a double hook up. All right, you're going to come down the back now. All righty, go for it. Right, here we go, we've got a leader. Yeah, nice little fish. Feisty little fella. Oh yeah, nice little fish. Well, he's still got a bit of kick in him, that's for sure. Whoa! Oh, that's fantastic, thanks, Brady. Oh, yeah, you're welcome, mate. What a fish! <laughs> It's only a little fella compared to the ones you got yesterday. Yeah, but geez, he still went hard, didn't he? Went he? Hard, all right. A Look at that the boat. sail, it's beautiful. We only want to keep him out of the water for literally a few seconds and we're going to get him back in. He's kicking hard, he's yeah. almost ready to go. Cool fish. Look at that sail. Aren't they just an incredible creature? Absolutely magnificent. The little light black spots on him. Beautiful turquoise stripes. I can't tell you how warm this water is. It's just like a bath. These fish thrive in this. So much bait for them. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. Push his head down, and away he goes. <sighs> I didn't even catch it, and that was awesome. <laughs> I'm on. Yes, oh, oh. I'm on. Yes, oh. Leo, 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 Leo. Just make sure you stop, stop winding, eh? Just winding. Oh, can I? No, go for it. Come on. Come and grab it. Lift, lift, put some tape in. One, one. Not yet, not yet. As soon as you can, just lift a bit, lift. You're probably wondering who this young bloke is. Well, he's a ring in. <laughs> he's a nephew. He's my nephew. He said, Uncle Mark, can I come on a trip? I said, All right. Here he is catching a sail. I haven't even caught one yet, you punk. You enjoying it? Loving it, every minute of it. It's so good. Stick boat. Right, we got leader. Yep. No, no, no. Now you're going to step backwards on the boat. Watch don't fall over. Just walk backwards. Walk backwards. Yeah, Lift it up. All right, here we go. Yeah, you got him now. It's on a stick boat. All right, we got leader. Yep. No, no, no. Now you're going to step backwards on the boat. Watch don't fall over. Just walk backwards. Walk backwards. Lift it up. Keep the rod, lift him up so that he can get the leader. That's it. Okay. And get ready to go through. You got him? Yeah. We got him. Give me the rod. All right, grab the camera, guys. Do a quick photo. Let him go. Hey. <laughs> How's that, mate? It's unreal. Biggest fish I've ever caught, that's for sure. Awesome. All right, I'll get a couple of quick photos and then we'll get it in the water again, eh? Look, it's still trying to swim. It's very healthy. Yeah, he wants to go. Go on, buddy. Yeah, he's good. Yes. Woo! Good job, right. Darren. Good job, All right. Now, Jason, <laughs> don't cast. <laughs> so the story is there, folks, is that I'm up the front chucking stick baits, trying to be the hero. Get one on a stick bait, and Jason, who comes on the show, goes, "Oh, I'll just chuck out a soft plastic," <laughs> and hooks one straight away. It's very hard to catch them on soft plastics, but you've done well. <sighs> hard to get good help, I can tell you that. 
Yeah, you just sit in the corner there, mate, and you just... <laughs> I'm hiding. Yeah, you get out of here. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. After I made sure Jason wasn't going to poach another fish off me, the skipper from Ocean Blue spotted some bird activity on the horizon, so we headed over to have a look. I feel this, in, uh, this trip is important for Jason um, due to everything he's been through over the last 12 months. Um, his passion for fishing, he absolutely loves fishing. Whenever he gets the chance, he'll go out. Um, yeah, he's just, I think he's very deserving after everything he's been through. It's um, been a hard 12 months for him. I, I knew it was going to be hard, but. Like within a couple of minutes, I was just thinking, oh my God, I can't do this, I can't do this. But you just stick your head down and just keep going and just keep winding and keep pulling. And... Oh, who needs Jim? Tell you what, we're doing it tough. We've got one sail to the boat so far today, but the whole objective is to find the birds feeding on the bait that the sailfish and cobia are bringing to the surface. And uh, with this cloud cover and rain, it's making it quite difficult. I have uh, a real mission for myself. I've never ever caught a sailfish on a stick bait. And I've got this uh, Zaplin, this Zerig Zaplin. We've got some nice. Uh, this hooks on the back, which really help with the hookup rates on these sails. Really, really want to get one on a, on a stick bait. But it's just the waiting game now, just waiting for one to come up, feeding on a bait ball, get that cast in there. Well, Unfortunately, no sailfish for me today, and that brings us to the end of part one here in magnificent Malaysia. Jason has three sailfish under his belt and is looking good for the Fishing Addiction Challenge. Tune in next week to see if he can take home the $7,000 worth of fishing gear from Wilson and Attic Tackle. Could be a cobia. Cobia, cobia, cobia! Come here, buddy. Oh, we're not quite ready yet. Well, how amazing is this place? This is called the Sapayan Lake. It's a man-made lake they use for drinking water, and it has snakehead in it. Oh, yes! Oh. Oh. Just lift it up. Lift up your rock. Yes, it's all right. That is a cool fish, mate. Your lure is the go-to lure. Fire. You are on fire, <laughs> my friend. Goodness gracious right. me. All right, time to let it go, eh? <laughs> <laughs>